What's going on everybody? Today, we're gonna to be pouring the K20 oil pump for the K24. All right, so here's the oil pump. I actually just got it from a um, K20A3 base model. It's um, Type S style. So it's basically, you know, it's a small oil pump. Just, I got it in a bag because uh, it's been stored away and I don't want, you know, nothing messing it up. I also got all the bolts for the, um, for the pump and for the uh, baffle. <clears throat> so I'm just gonna be using a Dremel and an assortment of carbide bits. If these ones even fit, I don't know if they do. If they, if they don't, I'm just gonna be using my drill. And then uh, the Dremel has some sandpaper in here so I can polish it up. But I'm just gonna be using the Dremel and carbide bits to port this out so I can you know, rev happy at 9,000 RPM, no problems. But I really just want really, 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 really good oil pressure. So that's really it. I'm probably going to be uh, actually shimming this as well so I can bump up the oil pressure. So let's do this. So here's the oil pump. I said the bolts for the uh, oil pump and the baffle. Is that over there? That's for next video, but uh, I'm going to start cracking this thing open and showing you what it looks like inside. I'm going to set the pickup to the side. Set that to the side. We're going to be porting in here and there. We're just going to smooth that passageway out and make everything nice and free flowing for this. We're also going to pop this open and put a, a shim in the spring to uh, bump up the oil pressure. We also, I forgot, have to cut this to size to fit on the uh, K24. So I'm actually just going to be using my drill with this attachment on it because it's too big for the, um, for the Dremel at the moment. So and you just want to start shaving inside here. I tried to get you guys set up on the time lapse, but I've got the the main port all ported out. It's not main. It's not. It's not all the way port. I gotta get port all of this stuff still. But I got the main port hole, uh, you know, ported out as much as I wanted it, as as open as I wanted it to be. So I got that shim really thin, and everything else matching for the most part all the way through and now i'm going to go ahead and tackle this uh this inner side and make this nice and smooth for the oil to run right through it all right so i've got the uh, oil pump all ported it's nice and smooth there's no more uh, rough corners and hard edges all right everything is nice and smooth I've got to um, polish this just to get all the uh, all the heavy imperfections of the cutting out, and then um, put it back together. Ooh, yeah, look at that! Nice and smooth everywhere. The transition is like woo doggy. Not bad. 
Alright, so I'm actually gonna remove this here. It has Loctite on it and it just comes out lefty loosey. So I actually already cracked it loose, so it should come off uh with no problem. This comes out. If a few things come out, I'm just going to set them to the side. Spring comes out. I believe that's it. All right, so I'm just going to clean this out and set a shim at the bottom of it. Alright, so this is all cleaned up. Uh, you actually just want to clean out the remnants of Loctite in here because you don't want that in your oil and the oil pump. Same thing with the spring and the the, the bolt that goes on here. You want to just clean off the uh, extra Loctite and clean inside before you put the, uh, the shim in because uh, there will be little pieces of Loctite at the bottom and you don't want that running through your oil pump. We just want to take a 10 millimeter washer that comes like it's like even with the 10 millimeter bolt. Here, I'll actually go grab one real quick. You actually just want to get one of these bolts and use this washer right here. So it's the perfect size. I'm just got this on here just so I can help hold it while I cut it. So now I'm going to cut it and steal this washer. All right. <clears throat> now this is all cleaned up. I don't know if I said that already. I'm just going to drop this 10 millimeter washer in there and it should just fall right in to the bottom and see how it fits perfectly around the edges see if you can focus in on that it fits perfectly all the way around and you just drop your spring in okay and then I'm gonna put some red Loctite on this and push it down. I'm no nowhere. There's no way I'm gonna be able to do this with one hand. So I'm gonna go ahead and set this on here, uh, lock it down, and keep pushing. All right, got that installed back on there. I'm just gonna spray this out, clean it up one more good time, and then uh, close it back up so that I can trim this section to put it on the uh, to fit it on the K24. All right, so the oil pump's all back together, and actually before you put it back together, you want to just put some assembly lube or some oil inside of it all over the uh, the oil pump gears and the housing, like where the oil pump gears meet at, so it can be nice and smooth, all right, and it has, uh, it's pre-lubed, you know, it doesn't um, start up dry, so you just want to um, lube up the inside after you clean everything up and close everything up and that's that's your oil pump like I said I'm gonna trim this here now and it'll be ready to go in a k20 or excuse me it'll be ready to go in a k24 and rev to 9,000 rpm all right so this is how it should be marked just wanted to show you guys before I actually go cut it all right so you just make a bunch of slits in it and you can just grab a pair of pliers and then should have just pushed it out and break them. Okay, and they break right off. So I'm going to do this all the way across. And then I'm going to clean it all up. And I still got to grind this. Because some of this has to come off to fit. Because if I'm not mistaken, there's a, there's a bolt right here. One of the the girdle. Yeah, one of the girdle bolts. <clears throat> I don't know what exactly what it's called. But I got to break these off and grind this down, which I'm going to do now. All right, so this is what it should look like, all cut and trimmed. I may have to trim down this uh, this this bolt area right here in the back, but I'm gonna send it like this. If it fits, then I'm good. If not, then I'll just grind it down and we'll be okay. But now I have a ported and shimmed to bump oil pressure K20 oil pump ready for k24 to rev to 9000 rpm and still be plenty happy i'm pretty excited by the way if you didn't know this oil pump you can get this from the k20a3 not only just the k20a2 
and K20Z ones. This oil pump also comes in the RSX K20A3. I actually pulled this from an automatic base model RSX from the junkyard. I, this is my second one I pulled. The first one I pulled had a lot of play in the uh, this gear right here. Front to back, up and down like that. But uh, this one didn't. I, I had to check the spec on that. I think it's like 3000s. Uh, don't quote me on it. Uh, but... <clears throat> It had way too much play, and when you opened it up, you actually you could actually see that the housing was wore wore down because of the gear. But this one is plenty nice and good. It doesn't have any play at all. So as I'm sure it's within that three thousand spec, and uh, the engine was real clean that this one came out of too. So here it is, ready to go. Next video, I'm actually going to be tossing this and that over there in the k20 four all right so i got the the oil pump all packaged up back into plastic with rags and everything covering everything so no dust or anything could get inside of it and I got everything sitting here for the install tomorrow. I got the baffle, the uh, K20 guide, the chain, the um, RBC gear, valve cover gasket, and RTV. And um, this is all ready for tomorrow. That's it for today's video. I got the K20 uh, oil pump all ported, ready to go. Tomorrow I'm going to go ahead and throw it inside of this and I'm also going to do the uh, RBC gear along with the uh, you know K20 uh, oil pan baffle and chain and guide obviously. And um, I'm also going to be painting the covers but I'm going to be leaving that for another for the next video after that. So stay tuned. Subscribe if you want to see the, the progress and how this is going to look when it's all dressed up. And uh, like if you like the video, like the video. Push the like button. Thumbs up right now. Let's go. See you later. Let's do it. Um, and comment. Please comment. It helps. Comment anything you want. Doesn't matter. So, see you on the next one.